Brandon Shearer served one tour in Afghanistan with the Army. He was involved in an explosion that left him with a brain injury and suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. But he says none of those experiences compare to what happened last week while he was traveling across the country, moving back home to get better treatment from a local VA hospital. It just threw my RV in a fishtail and like in a split second I was rolling through the air and that's all I could remember. While Brandon escaped from the accident with only minor injuries, all of his possessions in the trailer were strewn across the highway, and his prized Dalmatian, which he affectionately calls baby girl, was left severely injured. And I just crawled straight to her and wrapped up her blanket and set her on her bed and just laid there with her until the paramedics and the ambulance came. This is no ordinary dog. Baby girl has helped Brandon cope with life for the last six years after he returned from Afghanistan. She's pretty much an unlicensed service dog, you know. She is a big part of him still being here and that he's, you know, moving on forward and, and gives him a purpose. The dog was initially taken to an emergency vet. Brandon had to give her IV injections the whole way back to Pittsburgh to keep her alive. That, that picture speaks a thousand words. And when I saw that, especially that the dog was actually ejected from the vehicle, and at first, you know, she didn't seem all that bad, and then things started to manifest. Once in Pittsburgh, baby girl underwent emergency stomach surgery and had her eye removed. She has four fractures in her skull and was given a feeding tube. The vet bills just keep adding up. And while Brandon tries to put the pieces of his life back together... I'm more of a mess and worried about her than anything in my life right now. Brandon's brother started a GoFundMe page to help with baby girl's medical expenses. Expenses. Already more than $2,000 has been pledged. Yeah, she's all I have. It's just been me and her. She's the only one that stuck around, you know. And I can't wait to get her home. David Highfield, KDKA TV News.